Terrell Lyons led Clare into the championship for the first time to meet Tipperary for the sixth time in five years. All that familiarity and still they can't be friends. It's, it's going to be a savage, tough game. I don't believe there'll be much in it. You never know on a day what's going to be in it. But certainly I believe that we are good enough to win. Dickie Murphy from Wexford wants to get the match underway. Just after 4.20. Whoever loses here is out of the championship, and that's going to be a free. Referee just indicating that he's giving the free. This way to Clare on the left-hand side, and it'll be Sean McMahon who will take it. McMahon playing today in his 27th championship match. So far, he scored 48 championship points. A huge tally for a centre half-back, but what about this for a strike? What about this for a start? And Clare lead. A huge distance out. Ollie Baker going backwards, trying to bat it, needing Sean McMahon to come across. Eddie Enright's chasing. Up into the corner. Great catch this time. David Ford on his left-hand side, looking for the equaliser. The umpires look at it and they decide, yes, it's over the bar. David Ford, first chance to impress in this match. Sean McMahon, another great catch. Enright tried to deny him, but he's not getting on top of Sean McMahon this afternoon so far. This one pops out here to Eamon Corcoran. It comes back to James e. O'Connor from Alan Markham. Beating the attempted block and putting it on target and putting it over. James e. O'Connor now with two points. It's four each level for the third time. Oli Baker misses it completely. Up it comes here to Lar Corbett. And passing it over towards the other young player that is Owen Kelly, fumbled somewhat Mark O'Leary trying to step in couldn't come up into his stick and a few players are having difficulty getting the ball on the sticks this afternoon from the ground there's Eddie Enright and he'll feel an awful lot better after that one levelling up the match his first point after Sean McMahon had been really on top in that particular individual duel once again it's David Howey He's had a great couple of years with uh, his club, St. Joseph's Durham Airfield. Pressure once again on the Tipperary backs as David Ford was trying to get into uh, a scoring opportunity. He's given it. Here is a great chance and it's a great save. Colin Lynch absolutely cursing his young team. That wonderful save by Brendan Commons. He had three great saves by my reckoning in the league final and this was another magnificent one here. They tried to get that ball out. Here comes Kelly. Inside towards Enright, looking for another score. Might have hit it first time without taking it into his hand, going through again. And it's put wide by Owen Kelly. Another little bout of unpleasantness here. Jerry, you think he was going to go right and then he came back to his left and he's going in around danger zone there. Now, young Kelly met it first time here. You couldn't blame him really. He was right to what he did. Oh, this time Lark Orbit beats Quinn to it. And Lark Orbit has his chance and he's put it over. First real chance to shine in this match. He was being well marshalled, but he's made it seven points apiece. Now John Lahey is about to come into the match. And it is Mark O'Leary who's making way. Declan Ryan goes way out to try and get this one. Lahey has stayed inside there. He's gone in on Brian Lowen and Lahey is down injured almost immediately, feeling his right knee. So his gone, Joe, looks like it. Knee ligament or cap is gone. He went up all wrong into that ball. He came down bad on it. David Kennedy, great block down by Jensi O'Connor. He's lost the stick. Here comes Paul Ormond. Great ball inside for Declan Ryan. Allowed a bit of space by David Howey. Three men around him. And he's fouled in the end. It wasn't a fair tackle. The referee decides on the part of Brian Lowe and the fair captain. And it's a free into tip. Cash off decision, Joe, but that's the way it goes. Owen Kelly sweeps it over the bar. He's got six points in this match. 
some great free taking and Tipperary have a one point lead remember matches in the past couple of years between these two counties and very often a goal could turn a match that's James e. O'Connor he's turned this one over the bar that's a great score Brad O'Mara coming across here delivering the hand pass outside there to Paul Kelly and that and that's is over the job. bar he likes it out there this one is a good hurler they're all from Mullinahorn and they're great bits of stuff he loves going forward inside towards Declan Ryan but it comes out again towards Eddie Enright this time Frank Lowen trying to close the space Brian Lowen is out there as well but it leaves Declan Ryan free and Declan Ryan puts it over the bar good score, great play, great play by Eddie Enright with low two tackles get a lovely pass back to Declan Ryan and over the bar 13-11 Everybody looking up into the skies on a very clear afternoon. Out it comes to Brian O'Mara, and O'Mara is in perfect. He puts it over. A great point. It's his first. Tip seemed to be turning this around. David Ford. Running into the challenge there from Paul Ormond. James O'Connor. Another point would do nicely for Clare. And he provides it. Fantastic score, Jerry. Again, David Ford it on the donkey walk. Gives you over the bar. And it's down to one point again. This is well taken here. Eddie Enright. And that's hand passed ahead to the man he's marking. Sean McMahon. A poor clearance this time. He mishit it. John Carroll firing it in. Inside to Declan Ryan. Ryan trying to go five up to. He's fouled by Brian Lowen and it's going to be a free in to Tipperary Tip yeah. can lead by two Owen Kelly just 20 metres out he doesn't miss those Claire will hardly feel the need to go for goals at this early stage Alan Markham tearing through he's got David Ford outside the pass gets into the hands of David Ford and he's put it over and now it's 15 points to 40 Will we have a winner here this evening? I would begin to wonder. Davy Fitzgerald firing it down the final whistle. It's all over. And Tipperary have beaten Clare in the Guinness Munster Championship semi finals. There's delight for you. It was a really intense contest. James e. O'Connor distraught. Tip took that extra point that mattered. And now they're in the Munster final. And they will be playing against either Limerick or Waterford, who meet next Sunday. I, I'm, hardly, I, I'm hardly sure whether we won it or not, to be honest with you. It was a super game. And uh, we always knew that we were going to get a very tight game here. I think there was a big fear of losing in Tipperary. You know, sometimes in a situation like that, players don't play to their potential. And I think the only old failing is there. They left us in the game really when we shouldn't have been in it. I find it very hard to believe that we're out of the championship after that. That's personally myself. I didn't believe we deserved to lose today on that performance, you know, but that's the way it goes, I suppose. That's hurling. I probably wouldn't be too happy with Dickie Murphy today. And I, I'd say it straight out and I'd say it to his face. I, I don't believe he had a good game. You know, if he stopped the talking and gone on with the referee and a small bit more, probably be no harm. You know?